Come on, let's go check out the festival. It suits us perfectly. Boom. Please turn my precious Zelda back to normal. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. So last time we got stuck in this hole here and this time we're gonna exit. Um, oops, another hole. Uh, these are some new enemies, I don't think there were anything like these in the previous Zelda games. Um, yeah, what, what did we do last time? Uh, we went to a festival with Princess Zelda, we went to a ceremony uh, where Buddy, the bad guy, uh, turned her to stone um, and we passed out. We got a heart! Um, yeah, we woke up, uh, the king gave us a task to go to the Minish Woods to... Oh, hey you, don't do that again mister. Um, because there are uh, there, they think the Minish live, um, so that's where we're gonna go. And uh, yeah, the, only they know how to how to uh, repair the broken uh, pickery blade that uh, very broke, um, and uh, that's why we're going here. And uh, why are we going and not some soldiers? Because only kids can see the finish. All right, enough for that. Um, so let's just play. Um, we're in the forest. Uh, actually, oh yeah, these these enemies were introduced in Wind Waker. Um, I actually like them. Uh, I don't like them, but I like that they exist. They're cool enemies actually. Um, and we're in the forest. The forest is, is usually a, a first place to get when you play Zelda, just in like a green of time with a Deku tree or, or a Metro's Mask or any other Zelda game. I, I could think of only one other where it isn't. Uh, it, this is Wind Waker where you get to, to the Volcano Island first. Uh, yeah. Help, help me! We're just gonna go on. Ouch, won't somebody stop them? Ow, ow, help somebody! Can anybody hear me? We can hear you, but we're first gonna get our first heart piece. Collect four to get one additional heart in the upper left corner of your game display. That's what it said. Exactly that. So we're gonna get... Um, we're gonna free that thing which is actually our uh, our companion soon. Hey kid, you're there! And they're shooting him. Ow! Hey, don't just stand there, do something! Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! I do like to watch you take this abuse and I'm gonna leave. Let me leave. I don't want to help you. I really don't. No, leave me alone. Haha. <laughs> so, mister, I'm sorry. I have to kill you now. There you have it. Phew, well done, that was close. Not that I couldn't handle it myself, but that's beside the point. What if the world is alone charging so deep in the woods? Ho oh, oh, ho, I see. The pickery you say, and daddy, that is cursed someone. What? The second blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break the curse of baddies. And you say that reforging the sacred blade can break this curse, huh? Eh? Well, then you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Ezo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Thank you, man. It is also a pleasure for me. Because, well, he says he's gonna come with us, but... If you walk away, he's gonna say you walk so quickly, too quickly, in fact. You go really slow, and if we go slower, he doesn't even follow us. So we're just gonna go fast, boy take a good look at me, blah blah blah. Oh, if it isn't one thing it's another, you are a troublesome boy, he just doesn't want to come after us. He's using it as an excuse that we're too fast, so we can do this. Jump on our head. There, now you can possibly leave me behind. It might, it's quite comfortable up here. 
more comfortable than it looks, Shirley, and much easier than me. Hey, quit your squaring, can't you sit still see there? Yes, yes, that's it, much better. Now I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If ever you need my insight, press select, I'll be happy to help. Oh, such a helpless child. Well, suck it. I'm not hopeless, I have a sword! And a shield! Hold on for a moment, my boy! We've stumbled across something important! The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Eh? Who are the Minish? Ah, yes, silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Pickery, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No, there's some a portal, used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down the size. You just ha have to stand there and press R and press R. Get me up there and then we'll give it a try. Okay, so we're shining and he's singing and he's standing on our head and we're shrinking. That makes perfect sense. I love Zelda, it always makes perfect sense. So let's get out of here. Alright, welcome to the world through Eyes of the Minish. Now aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me though. Don't worry, I won't. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, I know. But there is one thing you must know. Being Minish is full of dangers. Mere pounds that you know besides sites are bottomless swamps to the Minish. As your, uh, and as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Alright, so as I said, we can't go here anymore because we got a drawn even though it's a mere paddle to say it in his words uh, so we gotta oh shoot so we gotta get up here and up there is the Minish village and since we're tiny these nuts and leaves are huge in our sight Minish village Yay! We made it! Hmm, it appears we have found the Minish village. And the Minish are already approaching. Pico Picori! Ripiri Pico Picori! Pico Picori Pico! That's cool language. I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now? Ah yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I am most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself, but perhaps there's someone here who understands your language. You should go check. And that's what we gotta do. Um, and I already know where he is. He's in that diamond house. But first, what you wanna do is get here and get our second you got your second piece of heart collect two more alright I don't know why but I kinda like cutting these nuts oh my heart so we gotta talk to the only uh, person who understands us hmm, I've never seen an outfit like that before are you a human? oh my it's been quite some time since uh, any humans came here my name is Pastor I watch the Abbey as well as the Shrine to the North you seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? You could use a Jabbernaut. It will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here. Well then, this is where I'm gonna go. Thank you, mister. Thank you for your advice. So we're gonna go here in this barrel. Since we're tiny, it's, it's a barrel house. Um, and eat the Jabbernaut. Because when we eat that, we're gonna understand their language. Another thing that makes perfect sense in the Zelda universe. And... This must be the Jabbernaut fest we told you about. Well, you better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. You ate the Jabbernaut! Actually, I didn't see it still there. But now you can understand the language of the moon. Oh, now I ate it. Mm, that was nice. I guess. I mean, I ate it pretty quickly, so... Must have been nice. Or it must have been pretty bad, so I ate it really quickly. Um, they're just gonna tell us that they haven't seen a human before. He's just gonna tell us that we gotta uh, go see the elder because only he knows how to repair this sword. Uh, the 
Pickery Blade. So we're gonna talk to that guy. Hey, what up, bro? Oh, you speak our language! It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in this world spot. Please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Aslo. This child is VGC. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the princess of Hyrule. To do so, we need to reforge the broken piggery blade. Ah yes, and you've come here now to ha have the blade reforged? If you want the blade reforged, you will need four elements. These are the crystalline forms of the energies that fill our world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, give me your map, I can mark where these elements can be found. Thanks man, that's pretty useful. The earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of Festery's Abbey. Speak with Festery, he will show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution, evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the earth element. I will, old man. Thank you very much for this advice. So, let's get to this shrine. But first you gotta let us through, bro. We wish to go to the shrine very well, this way. Why these have silent there recently? Be careful, it's quite dangerous. Thank you. Again, lots of advice today. Just like my mom is giving me advice every day. Deepwood Shrine! So this would be the Deepwood Shrine, the Minish Elder spoke of. He said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? <laughs> hey now, no reason to be afraid or anything. I'll be waiting right here. No wait, what am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. So, as no shit his pants. And we are gonna end this episode. So next time we can... Beat the first dungeon in the Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap! Yay! Until next time, I hope I see you soon. And please, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and comment what you liked about, what you didn't like about it, and other stuff that's on your mind. Well, see you soon!